You live and you learn, and here you go, though. You're getting a nice chance with TNA, and Terry Taylor calls, brings you in, and, oh, by the way, we're going to put you in a program with your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. So, it I happened mean, almost immediately. I, yeah. I, I believe Ken came in, and maybe a month or two later, we were, we were in a program. And, and yeah, it was so. I mean, Ken was, you know, near the top in WWE. So there was no reason to start him over again and make him go up through the ranks. He was ready. He was ready and primed to be in the main event in TNA when he came. I was just really happy that they they went with it. You know, um, when I came into the company, I didn't have a good. My contract was nowhere near what I was making at WWE. Um, and I had to prove myself at TNA for that first year. And, you know, working with you, I, I have you to thank for the next few years because, you know, you were able to sort of like elevate me in their eyes. Well, I think you did it for yourself, Ken. I, I really mm. do. You, you, you know, I don't think you have any idea how good of a worker you are. You, you, you understand the business. You have a great mind for it. Uh, you, you're great in the ring. You're incredible on the mic. You have a great look. I mean, you have every every asset you need to be a successful wrestler. Thank you, man. You don't know how much that means coming from you. So, uh, hey, can man, you the... tell that to my students, please? Yeah, <laughs> Come, I'll do a video for you, Ken. There you go. Hey, cameo. It's only 150 bucks, but he'll do it Sweet. for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Can I get man. the brother discount? <laughs> <laughs> Ten dollars uh, off. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Promo there you go. code angle. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, he's got it. He's got it. This match is about to wrap up already. That one went quick, didn't it? Yeah, this was just a, a feeder match for the cage match. This was just to show the fans, you know, a little bit of what's going to happen at the cage match. And listen, this is just kind of a TNA thing, isn't it? Because I had never really heard of, hey, let's do a ladder match, build to a cage match, the winner gets access to a key. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how was that an advantage? Well, I, the cage key, I don't, I don't understand. Yeah, help, help me with this, guys. Who, who do you, was this a Vince Russo idea? Do you guys remember? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. Well, no, no, no. Let, let me explain about the match. And I, okay. I want you to understand this because I was pissed off. Uh -oh. I don't know if Ken remembers this. Okay. It's a cage match. Okay. We're in a cage. And we're, we're about ready to transition cage. into it here. Yeah. Cage is a weapon. Okay. The reason why he has the cage key is because the only way you could win is entering, leaving the door. Okay. You couldn't climb over the cage to leave. You couldn't get a mm. pinfall. You couldn't get a submission. So they painted us in a corner. Okay, oh. this match w w should have been a failure. It should have been the worst match in the world. It ended up being one of my greatest matches. And and it's because of the way we planned it out. See, when you have a cage and you can climb up and leave the cage, that's when you do spots up at the top of the cage to make it more exciting. Yes. Because everybody's trying to leave. Now what do you do when you can only leave a door? So There's no reason to go up. Cage? There's no reason to climb a cage anymore. So you can't use the cage as a weapon. So he, they, they painted us in a corner, so we only had one way to win. And it was the exit of the door, and I thought the match was going to be shit. It ended up being a five-star match. It really was. I, was. I was really proud of both Ken and I structuring the match the way we did and, the, and how successful we made the match because we were set up to fail. We really were. I, I, it was Vince Russo's idea. Vince has a lot of great ideas, but this one was, was, was not one of them. It was not. It was, <laughs> it was stupid. You yeah. know, because now he's, they're taking the cage away from us. All you can yeah. do is leave the cage. We, uh, what are we going to do? Beat each other up and try to exit the door, and that's the only thing we're going to do. That's gonna the only it, yeah. It would have been boring as shit, but somehow Ken and I structured it, so it was really, really good. And it was mostly you, I will I will admit. Yeah, like, you helped Kurt. Too, Ken. That yeah, was but, after, man. Yeah. And then it took both of us to go in there and execute it. But, like, working with you, Kurt, I had never worked the way – um, I, I believe it was like three weeks before the match. You you already had like a basic outline in your head, and you, we started going over it. And, and I'd never worked that way before, other than like a WrestleMania match, right? You know where you have you know usually we do it on the day, 